Reduce a mesh. Sometimes we can reduce high resolution meshes. And a lot of times we get these meshes from 3D scanner uh, data. Uh, and we only really need a low resolution. Uh, so if we're uh, okay with uh, dropping down our size to a lower resolution, in this particular model I have about 135 meg. It takes me about five minutes to open this file, maybe five to ten minutes to open up this file on my laptop. And I would like to reduce it. You can reduce quad, n-sided, or triangle meshes but the resulting mesh will be triangle faces. Uh, so the UV shells and PTEC setups are not preserved. Uh, so what we have to do is, if we want anything preserved in detail, we have to freeze it. Uh, so I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna skip that part because I'm gonna just reduce everything for simplicity's sake. Uh, so I have to select the object. So I want to come over to my objects list, and I want to come over here and pick on the body. All right. And um, so in the body, then I've picked on it. And I can do more than one uh, particular uh, mesh if I want. Uh, so I can come over here, hold the control key down, hold the teeth and the eyes down at the same time. Now. I'm now ready to reduce the mesh. So I'm gonna go up to mesh, and I'm gonna come down here and say reduce mesh. Now in here I get a dialog box that says, hey, how do you wanna reduce it? Do you wanna reduce it, say, by percentage? Or do you wanna target face count a lot of times? For example, in your video game assets, they'll give you a target face count. Uh, so I can come down here and say, I want to go to, and I can just type this in. I'm going to go with nice, even 50%. And it says that the uh, warning uh, ray casting is selected for the extraction. But uh, do you want to continue? Do you want to switch to subdivision base lookup? Let's say yes. So it calculates a little bit, and I'm going to have to do these for each of my objects. Takes a little time, but you're going to save this time if things start uh, causing problems with you opening and saving the files, if it just gets to be too, too much. And I'll say yes to this. And the mesh is reduced by 50% at this point. You can see my total quadrants are, are down here. Um, I have about two and a half million here. So it'll generate an all new triangle copy of the mesh. So I'll come down here in the bullseye. And so it'll end up with, so the reduced, 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 reduced. You can see all the, all these here have been turned off and now we just have the reduced. Uh, so, so the, everything's been reduced, everything's been turned off. I wanna go over to edit. I want to deselect everything, and now I have less uh, file size. Okay, and so now I can go ahead and save my scene, and I can drop my file size down quite a bit. Now I just did 50% just to show that for speed, but you know in reality I could have gone down a lot more uh, than that. So Reducing a mesh, uh, when we have extreme dense mesh, uh, we can bring it back down and it will only have triangle faces when we're done. Um, you have to select the particular uh, object you want to reduce, then go up to reduce mesh under the mesh. And you can set it by 
particular percentage or target face count. Uh, and that's up to you how you want to do that. And then click on Reduce Mesh, and you'll end up with a smaller uh, data file with less polygons.